Well, hi, Neela and Mark. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So thank you so much for taking time to speak with me today about the Smurfs. Um, they've been around forever. I remember watching it as a kid. My parents had watched it. I think we watched it on Boomerang, like back in the 90s. <laughs> um, but so I was like, oh, wow, they're back. That's awesome. <laughs> so what was it about this project that made you want to work on it? This question's for both of you. I didn't really have much of a choice, I would say. <laughs> no, no, of course. No, but I, I've been working for the, the, the company that holds the rights to the brand for uh, over 16 years now. And and so um, I, I worked at, at the sales department, so the audiovisual uh, sales, so selling the show that you grew up with, uh, essentially. And then uh, after the three uh, uh, movies that we, that we made with Sony, we said we need to have a new series. And that's, um, yeah, it just came naturally. And we decided to uh, try to produce it ourselves here in Belgium. And that's uh, how uh, it all got started. So it was a really natural process. It was not like I chose to come on board. I was really uh, there right from the beginning. As for me, well, I'm very much like you, Ashley. I grew up watching the first series. And when your phone rings, and someone tells you, hey, by the way, um, hey, we're planning to do a new series of the Smurfs. That's, that's the one call you don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and I said, okay, well, I, I didn't say, um, the, the next question was, are you interested? And I said, well, when, when are we supposed to start? And they said, well, actually, uh, there, there are two things here. There's one, you're going to have to, um, you're, you're going in and you, you want, you want, if you want to play a part, you, you're more than welcome to try out casting fine okay i'm happy with that and and also they're looking for a um, a voice director would would you be interested and i mean that's like that's the icing on the cake right you just <laughs> it's just that's you know I, I the first thing i do is you know i put the phone down and i turn to my kids and i go guess what daddy's got daddy's got a new office for the next couple of years and it's the smurfs you know and and so amongst other things but it's been yeah yeah it's it's the one call you don't miss and that's how exciting it was and this is not only for me this is for literally every single actor we called up after that and just popped the question just said hey guys do you know uh, we're, we're doing the smurfs again are you <laughs> are you interested and you know you can imagine where this goes you know it's just like what it's you know it's a belgian institution it's 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 one of the big things that comes out of this country you know and it's it's childhood's it's generations of people who have grown up on the comic strips and then on the series and then on the films. And then it's just something you can't, you don't miss. Yeah, it's definitely iconic. Um, as is your character, Gargamel. <laughs> like, he's kind of <laughs> synonymous with like the creepy, like bad guy. Um, so you get to voice him, but you're also voicing some Smurfs. So you get to kind of play both sides of the fence, you know, villain and and good guy, do you have a preference? Do you prefer, is one more fun to play than the other? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously you want, you know, the baddies are kind of fun to play because they, you know, and especially Gargamel, I mean, he's just so over the top and he's just such a, a nutty old wizard who, I mean, he's cats more intelligent than he is, you know? I mean, that's a fun thing to play. And, but again, I mean, it's, yeah, I think the question is good because I do, you know, I get to play a couple of other Smurfs and, and it is, they're, they're all fun. I mean, the whole environment is fun to play, you know, and I haven't seen one single actor come in like tired or bored or they come in with such, so much enthusiasm. That's how much this thing means to people. It is, it's, you know, as I said, I've, I've got one of the best jobs at the moment. I mean, I, you, can't, you can't. What do you do, Daddy? Well, uh, <laughs> let me think. <laughs> That's my office, you know. So yeah, it's. But yeah, it's a good question. I mean, but all in all, yeah, of course, we do prefer, you know, playing the the good old villains. That's it's classic. Yeah. Definitely, I yeah, villains have more fun. I'm sure. <laughs> um, so, out of the Smurfs that you voice, can you pick a favorite? Okay, um, well, uh, uh, well, I mean, well, I, in fact, there's another one I do like, which is not a smurf, it's the ogre, which I think is is funny. Um, but I would, 
No, I don't really have a favorite in the Smurfs. I think every, every, every one of them has his own, you flesh them out, you know, they're characters. So you find the best and the worst in them. And, and, that's, and that's how you play them. So every character has his little, has his little star moment. And the way, they, the, the way the series is written essentially is every Smurf has his kind of like, you know, 50 minutes of fame. So, you know, we all, we all get a crack at, at, at being hilarious for an episode. So no, so no. I, to answer your question in a no, I don't have a favorite Smurf. No, I, I, I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the very judicious parent answer. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> I love them all. <laughs> okay, so if either of you could come up with a new Smurf, like a new Smurf comes to the village, what would their name and or personality be? Neela, you can start if you want. Oh if you want to go first, <laughs> that's an an unexpected uh, question because we already have so much Smurfs. Um, but what we're really uh, focusing on, because I mean, we are actually already working on, on, on other seasons. Um, so what we are focusing on is adding more of the Smurf girls into, um, into the series. And um, yeah, we feel that it, that's a great addition to, uh, to the existing Smurf universe. Uh, um, so yeah, that would be to add another Smurf girl to the tribe. <laughs> But which actually, one? Yeah, it's a it's a difficult one because I'm 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 kind of I already know things that you <laughs> are not supposed to yes. know, so <laughs> I cannot really. If I if I say an example, then I'm kind of ahead of myself. So yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll answer. is not aware yet. Of yeah, the, I'll um, answer it differently actually. Um, because, because I think it's it's actually it's a great question and it's very relevant to um, the 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 the, uh, the kind of the setting the Smurfs were originally written in and and at least cartoon uh, the cartoon aspect the animation aspect in the seventies of course because values were different you know society was different and so the interesting challenge here is how to 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 keep sort of like the 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 overall narrative of the Smurfs alive and then adding kind of the 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 you know that what's going on in the world today which is or how we are today how we behave towards each other and so that brings in new challenges which are great and so possibilities to bring in lots of new interesting characters that will fit into the smurfs kind of environment and and with kind of new tales of like today modern tales while retaining all what we like about the smurfs and i think that's essentially that's a script writer's talent and then the director's talent and then we come on top of that and and just add all these elements, you know. Um, and children for that are a great sounding board, for instance, because my kids watch so many different things. And so I get kind of like the flavor of the day and I get to kind of pick, you know. But great question. Yeah. If, and so if I had uh, one Smurf, I would think about many, I think, because there there's, there's many differences between the 70s and now, and certainly in today's world. And so it, it, it opens up uh, a lot of possibilities. Yes, I'm all for more girl Smurfs because we, okay. we need more ladies. <laughs> all right, last question for both of you. What is something you want fans to know about the latest adventures in the Smurf world? I, I think they're going to be in for, um, for, for new stuff. There's, there's new stuff. And, and there's, uh, it's, it's a trick question because we're not allowed to say much. And there's stuff that we know and that you guys... <laughs> You know, but but it it is. I mean, it's something that's going to be evolving, and and um, and, yeah. and I, I think there are, there are little little surprises in, in in store, fun things, all within the Smurf realm, but but uh, definitely uh, of of our time, shall I say? So it'll be yeah. relevant. Yeah, and lots of new characters. Um... Because this this was a real challenge for us huh? when producing such an iconic reboot uh, to keep the the values of the of, of the, the classic series we, we never call it the old series but they call it the classic and and add some elements that will appeal to the kids of today because they have different rhythms they have different humor so um, um, so so we added all that and still kept it smurfy. Uh, it, al it always had to sustain like the, the, smurf, the smurf test. So, uh, but we, we, we made it really more 
um, um, for kids of today. So faster, funnier, um, edgier. So that's really uh, what the fans can expect. I mean, but, it's interesting. It's a question we could redirect to you, in fact, Ashley, and just say, <laughs> hey, I mean, how, what if you had to imagine stuff, imagine sort of anything within the Smurf realm, I mean, what would you expect or, or kind of like, you know, in today's world in, in, in reference to what it was before? And because it's child, it's your ch childhood's thing, you know, and then, and then now you're an, you're an adult and, 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 and so your perspective has changed. So you, the question is actually valid for you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, kind of like Mila said, you know, it's just, it needs to be Smurfy. It needs to be fun and just kind of, I'm up for anything, honestly. Full of surprises. I feel like it should be full of surprises. Keeps us on our toes. <laughs> well, yeah, I, th I think I think you pretty much nailed it. Yeah. Well, I think that's my time. I appreciate you both. This was great. Right. I look forward to seeing more of the show, seeing the new stories that are going to come and and the new <laughs> girls. So have a great day. Thank you. You too, Ashley. Thank you. Bye bye. -bye.